Hi, this is Professor Nabosny, and this video is going to demonstrate how to take a class C size network and subnet it into smaller subnets. So uh, for our exercise, we're going to be given some information. And in this case, we're going to start with our network address, 200.175.14.0. Uh, we need three subnets and 45 usable hosts. This information will be provided to you if you're taking an exam or a quiz. Um, in the real world, it would probably come to you from the you know, network engineer or a senior network technician, something like that. So the first thing we need to determine is our address class. In this case, we know that it is a class C because the first octet falls between 192 to 223, and that equals class C. So we know that it's class C. The default subnet mask, and the whole reason we determine the class is just to find what the default subnet mask is. In this case, it's 255.255.255.0. So class C always has a default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Uh, the next step is to calculate the number of subnets that we're going to end up with. We want three subnets, um, but with the way the binary math works out, we are sometimes not always going to be able to be exactly at that number. Uh, with the binary math, we're going to end up with either uh, something like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, you know, or even 128. You know subnets or more depending on like what class we're dealing with but so in this case we're going to look for what's the number of subnets that we can get close enough to this um, but not be too large so to figure that out we do a calculation and the formula is this and there's really like three very simple formulas we need to know uh, the first one is 2 to the n which is the same thing, and that n is for the number of bits borrowed, so that's 2 to the number of bits borrowed, and I'll explain that in a second. Bits borrowed, and that's going to give us the total number of subnets. If we look at the subnet mask, and it's 255.255.255.0, and so we're really interested in just this last octet. Um, in the subnet mask, where we have ones in the octets, which if these are 255, these are all ones, that indicates where the network number is, which is that saying this part is all network. And the zeros tell us where the host addresses are. So in this case, this is where all the host bits come from. If we did nothing, if we just left this um, network at its default, then we would have 256 total host addresses. Uh, we have 8 bits in this octet. 2 to the 8th power is 256. So because we want more subnets, we want at least 3, and fewer hosts per subnet, we don't need 256, we only need 45, that we're going to change that around a little bit. So if we take a look at the subnet mask, and we break it down like this. And instead of putting a zero, I'm going to put the, the bit places here. So there's our eight bit places. So let's see how many bits we need to borrow to get to the number of subnets that we want. So two to the first power would be two. So if we borrow one network bit, if we borrow one network bit, that only gives us two networks. That's not enough because we need three. So if we borrow two network bits, two to the second power is four. Now we've gone over, but we've only gone over by one, so we're pretty close to the actual number of subnets that we need. So we're going to end up with four subnets, and we borrowed two bits to get there. And if you remember from the the pizza example I gave earlier, if we look at it like this, if we look at our, our circle, and if we divide the network in half, we borrow one network bit, we divide it in half again, we borrow a second network bit, 
we start off with 256, and we've divided that in half, 128, and 128, and then we end up with 64, 64, 64, and 64. So that's a visual representation of what we're doing here mathematically. Okay, so the total number of host addresses, well, let's see, all the rest of these host bits are going to be, all the rest of these bits are host bits, so we'll put H's there to represent host bits. And the formula to calculate that is 2 to the H equals 2 to the number of host bits. And that equals total number of hosts. So in this case, that's going to be 2 to the H, which is 2 to the 6. And 2 to the 6 is 64. So that tells us the total number of host addresses we have, which ends up being the same here in our visual representation. The number of usable addresses is based on that formula as well, and it's just 2 to the h minus 2, and so that's 2 to the number of host bits minus 2, and that gives us the total number of usable hosts. So you're probably wondering why do we subtract 2? Well, the reason is, so let me finish the formula here, so we've got that's the number of hosts, of possible hosts, and then 2 to the 6 minus 2 equals 64 minus 2, which equals 62, and that's our number of usable addresses. The reason we subtract 2 is we subtract 1 for network, that's the network address. We can't use that to address any devices on the network. We cannot use it to address, put an address on a PC or a printer. And then we subtract one for broadcast. And the broadcast address is a special address that identifies all the devices on the network. It means that if I send a broadcast message on the network, I'm sending a message that will be received by every device on the network. So those are the two special cases. And because we cannot use those addresses for hosts, we subtract those out so that's why there's a difference between total host addresses and usable host addresses. So finally, we get to the last component here, which is our custom subnet mask. And so we know which ones we borrowed for network and which ones are hosts. So if we keep going on with this, and then where we've got the network bits, we're going to put ones there and then zeros for the hosts. And then if we do the binary math here. We know that these bit places are worth 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So then we get 255.255.255. We're adding up 128 plus 64, which equals 192. And that is our custom subnet mask. 255.255.255.192. So for all the devices on our network, this is the subnet mask that they would get. So that's the demonstration of how to subnet a Class C size network into four equal size subnets. I will be doing another video to demonstrate this for another subnet size.